Hey guys! I am just, uh, it's Magic Monday, so I wanted to get on here and do our little um, uh, feature a new stamp set. Well, it's actually a stamp set and some paper is really what I wanted to feature. Um, um, so what I wanted to feature today was the, we're going to do a little, we're going to use this Wildcats, um, we're going to use this Wildcats, um, stamp set, but not extensively. Uh, we're going to mainly be using the paper and letting the paper do the work for us. Um, and right now this paper is on sale. It is, I believe, 15% off, which makes it like nine something instead of 11 something. So here, it, here are the front, the A sides. I love the colors in these. And so you have tigers and then you have this um, cheetah. And I like this one we're going to be using today. It's this flower. It almost looks like a lily, but I'm not quite sure, like from a lily pad, but it's not. It's I'm trying to think of the name. I also um, am using this currently for a baby card for my um, my stepsister. And I particularly love this cheetah. There's something about how regal it looks, and I think I'll make a card that features this cheetah later and I'll, I'll uh, get back to you on that so this oh and then here are the b-sides so this this is featuring that new color evening evergreen and I love this one too so it's a smaller print of the cheetah a larger print of the cheetah a tiger print then these hanging vines which I kind of liked then this tribal type of uh, design so obviously if you like large cats or if you like African style designs, I mean, I, I just really like this. I just thought it, it was a great, great set. Um, and so I am using that today. Remember, you can go to fabulousstamper.com and you can order anything that you like and use this host code. Um, I also, um, anyone that makes an order during the month of July will be getting a gift and several of those gifts will be going out today. So I just wanted to touch base with you guys and we'll just go ahead and get started. I'm just trying to keep it, oh, I don't have my Minnie Mouse ears on today. So I'll put my Minnie Mouse right here so you can at least see her for a minute next to the cute little Wildcats stamp set. I mean, how cute are she, is she? These are called Noemos. Um, and you know, since I don't have my ears to give my little intro, I'll show you my cute little Minnie Mouse doll. So I'm just going to hop right in with our, um, our craft because remember it's Monday. So I always want to keep it simple. So we'll keep her face just peeking in the corner over here so that you still get my little mini ears. <laughs> so again, this is that Wildcats paper or in the wild paper. Oh, and don't forget if you comment and share any of, uh, comment and share my videos, you'll be put in for the drawing for the items that I make. Again, I'm making this a very simple card because it's Magic Monday. I wanted to remind you guys that let the, let the paper do the work for you. Do, you don't have to, um, you know, just let it do the work for you. You don't have to make it more complicated. The, if, if you don't want to make a fancy design with lots of stamps, that's okay too. Sometimes the paper alone is worth it. I really loved this particular paper because, you know, obviously the other card we're going to make is very similar, but it's using the tiger paper. Now this is very specific design for someone who likes tigers, but this is really a pretty card without it being too fancy pants you know like I just feel like you could use any kind of stamp set any stamp set with this um, and so uh, I wanted to touch base and give you guys that option so let's go ahead and don't forget this paper is on sale right now so take advantage so I'm gonna start off with just a little touch of glue and remember this is the white mono adhesive 
and I just made, I have had this, I just opened this new one. The other one that I had, oh my gosh, it, I was using it for days and uh, I used a ton of it and I just made 20 something cards with, I think they had one, two, three, four, six different layers. I made 20 cards with six layers and barely finished up the rest of it. And then that's including all the time, all the other things I made with it and used. So first I'm gonna do this first layer. Then I wanted to do, um, I thought I would use, I think I'm gonna use that one thing. There's a beast. Actually, you know what? I, I think I'm gonna in, break away from using, yeah. Um, I'm actually going to use, I've used it before, but let me go ahead and use a little different one because I realize since I don't have any animals on this particular, um, I don't have any animals on this particular, um, card. I thought I should actually switch out the stamp set just now. So we'll go ahead and use this one here. Um, it'll still give me what I need. It's, I don't like how they've redesigned the packages. There we go. You know, this stamp set is super fun and that, you know. Uh, uh, they're for you always. Now that's a standard sentiment without being anything particular. Thanks, you're the beast. Have a wild birthday. You are fierce. Uh, and then, of course, a hello. But um, so I'm going to use this, the um, not the boring, <laughs> but the basic card stock for that. And again, oh, I didn't want to use, let's use a different color than this dark one. This is the open weave ribbon, the in color open weave ribbon. I'm using pretty much all in colors. Now, technically, Soft succulent is not on this paper, but look at how pretty that soft and succulent is. And the, this is pale papaya. Pale papaya is barely visible on these little flowers. And I don't know if you can get it. There we go. Maybe you can see on the flower petals, you can see that slight pale papaya. And then of course it looks like there's bumblebee in the center of the um, the flower. I didn't really want to use that mustardy bumblebee color. I thought pale papaya would be pretty as well as the soft succulent. This is not soft succulent. This is actually evening evergreen and then a lighter color of evening evergreen for the leaves. But look at how pretty that soft succulent um, looks with that. So because I used the soft succulent as the background, I thought let's go ahead, oops, let me take my little washi tape. Okay, I thought, let me go ahead and use it again. Let me use it here. Oh, maybe I should have grabbed the uh, pale papaya. Oh no, because I'm gonna punch with that. I think. Yeah, let me grab the pale papaya um, ink one, or ribbon. That's actually what I needed, my bad. One second. I knew I was supposed to make a switch before I started a film, and then I just forgot. There we go. See, it gets a little bit lost, this, um, oh, it looks fine, but then I was going to use this on top, or I was going to use this bumblebee on top, okay, and it's just, I don't know, the pale looks a little lost, or uh, not the pale, the, that, um, mint looks a little bit lost or soft succulent looks a little lost so 
But when I come along and I put this one, now that looks so much better as you can tell. Hi, Denise. How are you doing? Thanks for tuning in. Um, don't forget that uh, when you are comment and share my videos, comment and share my videos, um, I put you in the drawing for, um, for the items that I'm making. So this is the Pale Papaya Open Weave Ribbon. Okay. And so what I'm doing is, I love these. I, I, these are my, my fabric scissors. I always make sure that I, I tie off on my fabric scissors. That way they stay sharp. Because once you take, fab, take scissors and start cutting paper with them, they're not as sharp when you need them to cut fabric. So just so you know. And I love our snips that we have. All right, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a little tape on the back, just standard scotch tape, because it holds it tightly, and that really makes it pop a lot more. I'm sure you can tell, like, I don't know if you saw earlier how pale that, um, that soft succulent was. I'll compare it again. And this, I just love this. This is the in color ribbon that we have. This, these for two years and I just love this design I love that open weave and just the satiny look on the edge so look at that compared to it really pops compared to this one this one just kind of blends in against the green and remember that there's a tiny bit of pale papaya on the white flowers just a touch of it and so I thought it would be fun to add that and so there is my basic card. All right. Let me go ahead and glue that in. And I just love that this white glue is much more of that should be. All right. All right. So Okay, sorry my alarm went off. All right, so we've got that down. Again, Monday is always my easy day. I always want Monday to be my easy day, and especially because this paper is on sale right now. It's 15% off. Go ahead and like pick it up while you can because our paper rarely goes on sale. And any purchase you make uh, during the month of July, because it's Christmas in July for me, any purchase you make during the month of July, I will be sending you a gift. So, score for you. Any, I want to say I said $30, but I'm, it's near the end of the month, so let's just, any purchase you make in the month of July, I'll send you a little gift, whether it's an embellishment or a ribbon or something, okay? And all of the customers that I, are current customers, I will be sending out your catalogs this week. If you are not my current customer, Denise, um, I don't think I have you as a current subscriber. If you would like to get a um, to get a catalog, if you make an order, I will send it to you for free. And if you if you want me to mail you a catalog, it's five dollars to mail it or three dollars to mail it. I forget um, because I have to buy them and mail them and stuff. If you're already my customer, I'm sending them to you. And so if you wanna, you know, just to let you know. So, all right, great. So let's get going on our little stamping. I wanted to use, because this was a, a, a very um, standard kind of, um, a standard, what's the word? I took this in the wild paper, but I made it into a really pretty card. So I'll use a standard sentiment instead of um, instead of a more oh I got stuff on it. Okay, we're gonna have to move that over. I'll just tear this off. Yeah, because I gotta get that at the bottom. All right. I, I did it wrong again. it's got to be centered for the oval. Dang it, I keep getting dots on it. Uh, 
I always move my ink away from a little bit away from where I'm stamping because I have put my card right on top of the ink pad before and that is the absolute worst so all right so let's go ahead and um, you can also message me um, Denise with an order if you would like or not with an order but with uh, your address and we can make arrangements through PayPal all right there we go I'm now always there for you and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna layer my that's why it's always better to actually have a strip when you're doing it I'm gonna layer this is the oval punch the dual oval punch and I'm gonna layer it on top of this and this was clearly a scrap piece that I had I love that it just both both <laughs> Both layers are in one punch. It's my favorite thing. And then I'm gonna take my card back. So you see, so I still have just this really pretty. Yeah, I know. Um, I did. I did clean the stamp. It wasn't the. It wasn't that. It was that the ink is really juicy, and so it keeps getting up inside the center. It's a little extra juicy. Yeah. I pressed down on it a little too hard. So, alrighty. There we go, done. Simple card. And this is using the in the wild paper, but in a very elegant, simple way without it being too complicated, okay? So I love that. So we'll put that one to the side. And then we'll go ahead and we'll do the same exact thing over here, except we're gonna use the darker ribbon. And this one I'm gonna use the Your Fierce stamp because, I mean, obviously that one is more my style. Okay, and this is a standard card base, remember, and then you always go down by a quarter inch to get your next layer. So this layer here of the, the, um, the designer series paper is three and three quarters by five inches. And so that makes this one four inches by five and a quarter. And then this is four and a quarter by um, 11 inches. And then I scored it in half. Okay, and then I'm going to stamp the insides here in a sec. There's an inside, yeah, I need to stamp the inside. So we'll go ahead and we'll take our same open weave ribbon, but we're gonna use, I wanna use this one. I don't wanna use the uh, soft succulent. I like that dark one. I think the soft succulent is not as pretty. Uh, though it's pretty hot, but it's, you know, it's, it's hot here, Denise. It's not like crazy um, hot. It's been like kind of temperate. Unlike in Northern California and the North uh, Pacific Northwest, which has been insane there, um, I'm surprised because usually we're pretty hot here in July. But it's been it's been hot, but I'm not dying when I'm outside, which means it's good weather. Yeah. So, thanks for the cute card comment. Yeah, I I tried. I was like, I want to keep it simple. Let me just feature the paper today and not the stamp set. The stamp set of the Wild Cats is super cute, but it, it involves usually a couple stamp, a couple different um, steps. And I just thought, no, let's keep it simple. There we go. And so the same idea, same kind of card. I moved the layer up a little bit higher, but that's not terrible. And I'm gonna do the same exact thing. Thank you so much for sharing and commenting because that does help my little business. I don't have like a fancy, um, huge, huge following, but it does always help because you know, the Facebook minions, they always have a way of mathematically figuring out whether I'm cool enough and, you know, just trying to play their game so I can get more followers. So, all right, so for this one, I'm gonna use the You Are Fierce. 
but I wanted to use a different, let me use that, uh, let me use this one again. There we go. Dang, I am having a hard time. Maybe this, where's my cleaner again? It's like it ripped the paper when I went to pick it up. It's weird. Like, as if there was glue on the stamp. It's a brand new stamp. There we go. I chose not to use the Evening Evergreen, which is this one here, because it's actually almost black when you stamp with it. It's almost a black color. It's like a little, um, oh, thanks. Okay, there we go. That dang alarm. I thought my alarm was off. <laughs> there we go. I thought my alarm was off. Sorry about that, Denise. Um, I do like simple cards. That tends to be my style. And so you see, if I actually make a, if I cut a strip when I'm using the oval card, uh, oval punch as just a side note, when I'm using a strip, I don't, then I'm not wasting as much paper and I can have a little more control over centering my You Are Fierce in my oval punch, okay? Just a little tip. You can also use a, um, a sticky note to help you. And then the top layer for this one, I was going to use Bumblebee. Let's try the Bumblebee and see if I like that one better. Then I think I like that one better, yeah. Cause there's just not enough soft succulent on the tiger. Um, so I think I'll stick with that. Or not the tiger on the paper. There we go. All right, and there we go. So you are fierce. Two basic cards. Let me put my uh, dimensionals. Oh, and I was gonna stamp the inside. I always like to stamp a little something on the inside. Nothing too fancy. Where did the dimensionals go? There they go. Right under my. I think because the stamp set was so new. It like stuck to the paper super stiffly, which was weird. I, I don't think I've ever had a stamp rip the paper like that. That was kind of weird. Luckily, it was just on a scrap piece. There we go. Actually, I need to, it's like leaning. So I'll put another one down here to stabilize it. It was leaning the wrong way. So to stamp my insides, I'm going to stamp them the same way with just a little... There's this little leaf that came with the, um, there's this little leaf that came with the stamp set. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp it off. Let me test it since I've had so many trouble, so much trouble today with my stamps. Yeah, it's super juicy. My stamp set is way too wet. So sometimes when you get a new stamp set, it they fully, fully, you know, like ink it up, which is great. But actually it's almost like too much ink. So then when you go to stamp, even when you're being gentle, it'll just, it'll just soak. You see, it's just soaking my ink, my stamp. So uh, you take a paper towel or, and look at, I pulled off all that ink that's just freshly coming off onto the Kleenex. And um, just a little bit, it's like, it's like a, just to get a little bit of the excess ink off the top, you just lay a paper towel or a Kleenex to take that top slight layer of ink off. And it'll let you get a cleaner image, one, and it'll help you just keep from, there we go, I'm gonna, this side needed a little bit more. 
And so, and then you try not to get it all over your fingers if you can, but I did, I was not so successful with that, but that's okay. And so let's see how we do now. Better, much better. Okay, so I stamped off and now I'll put my little leaf in the corner. Okay, so there's that one. And let me get my white one. I was gonna do the same thing. I like to just have it a little lighter. The dark was a little too dark. There we go. And just a little something on the inside. But getting that little bit of ink off the top allows you to cleanly get some, um, cleanly get some, uh, get it to where your ink is just not so blotchy everywhere. All right. Because that happens sometimes. I didn't know the problem. And I only learned that trick like a, about a, like a couple weeks ago because I was ha I had I couldn't get the lips I had the ordered the lip card or the lip stamp set the hearts and kisses all right there we go for the inside of that done and let me put the glue on this one Oh, this one got a little messed up. This one actually got messed up. I always have lots of extra. do this one full strength. Oh, of course not. There we go. Nice and clean. I always like that little something on the inside of a card. The other one had um, blotched out a little too much. That's the technical term. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was, especially when I was cleaning off the ink pad, I was like, oh, well, such is life. Someone told me that there's a charcoal, um, there's a charcoal, and especially because that's a new ink pad. Kleenex, I don't want to blotch it up, so I'll use my Kleenex my Kleenex to help me press it down because sometimes I'll get a fingerprint right in the middle after I've gotten it on so so there we go cute cards done so magic Monday is always our simple card day and then Friday fabulous Friday is always a little bit more um uh, not complicated but just it has a little bit more technique or just something a little bit a little more extra effort than just adding a couple layers. And so that's what I try to do. My cards are always pretty simple, but definitely a little bit more. I just sometimes think, let's let the paper speak for itself. And that's what I wanted this to do. And again, this paper is on sale, which is amazing. So when I saw this paper, I knew I had to have it as well as the stamp set. Um, and remember any purchase made during July from fabulousstamper.com. Please use this host code. Um, it's kind of tricky to find the host code part when you're when you're um, when you are um, checking out. But if if you can't find it, that's okay. I can usually find you. Just make sure that I'm your demonstrator when you order. But yeah. So I hope you enjoyed my cards. Thanks so much. I'm glad you thought they were cute, Denise. Um, I've been a Stampin' Up! demonstrator for about, for five years, but I have been stamping and crafting with only Stampin' Up! products for at least 15 years. These are some of the first large stamp pads I've ever bought. Prior to now, 
I used to just use the ink spots. It's only been recently that I have um, started to use the large ink pads, you know? So yeah, for five years, I just love to stamp. It's very cathartic and I like that I can make a card and I can just mail it off and send it away and be done, you know? So um, yeah, I like that. So that's my favorite part about crafting. And so, so yeah, well, thanks for chatting with me, Denise. I appreciate it. And remember, if you make an order or if you message me, um, I can make sure you get a catalog and that would be great. Um, I have to check out the shipping. Like I said, I think it's like $3 to, or three to $5 to ship it. Um, but if you're already my customer and you make an order, I will send it to you for free. So yeah, so are, um, are, have you been a demonstrator? Um, or do you craft, Denise? Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, I love crafting. It's just so cathartic. So, well, thanks so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. And you have a great day. On Friday, we'll be using, I don't know if we'll use this. I think we'll probably be using the same paper, but just in a different way, different design, where maybe we have some more cuts or the stamping will be a little bit more complicated. Maybe I'll use the, um, um, the stamps a little bit more. Um, I think I do want to use this paper again and feature this all week. I try to feature just one product all week and I think I want to feature just this paper. But look at how, you know, it has a lot of these tigers and then there's cheetahs and all these great animal jungle style. But then it also has this very elegant, pretty flower style too. So there's a lot of options with this paper. So, All right, well, have a great day. Thanks so much for tuning in and commenting, Denise. It makes me feel better when I'm not just talking to myself the whole time, <laughs> which I can talk a lot, even to myself. So, all right, have a great day. Thanks so much.